hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here i say welcome and if you have been following me thank you so very much so today we are finding this nice nigerian bonds and if you want to see how i made this from the beginning please watch the end of this video thank you in a bowl i'll sieve in my flour i can always say sieve in your flour in case of food or lumps so you don't have lumpy bones i'll be sieving in three cups of flour the first the second and then the third you can see i have some particles in here if i didn't sieve it that means particles will go in enter into the bond so now i'll just add in all the dry ingredients i'll be adding grated nutmeg baking powder powdered milk the nut salt then sugar you can add as much sugar as you want to add if you are a sweet tooth then I'll combine everything together so that it will be well incorporated. In a bowl, I'll crack in two eggs. Then I'll be adding vanilla. You can use any choice of your your um, flavor. Then I'll be adding melted water. Then I'll add just some water in it. Then I'll mix everything very very well. So when this is done, I will now bring in our dry ingredients and I start mixing everything to be well combined. Remember, this is bones and not puff puff. The difference between bones and puff puff is that puff puff you use yeast, while the bones you use baking powder. You keep stirring until it's well combined. If the wet ingredient is not enough, then you can start adding water gradually. We need a smooth um, dough, not runny, but let it be smooth. So I'm adding some water. Just add your water little by little so you don't over add the water. Different people have different ways of making their bones. Some make their bones to be rough outside, while some make theirs to be smooth outside. So just keep combining very well you can also use your hand for this now if you don't want to use this spatula we have to turn very very well you can see what we are having now the dough is not too thick and is not runny you just have to keep stirring like this until you get a very smooth and stretchy dough. So you can see what we have now. You can see it's smooth. So it's going to be chewy inside and smooth outside. So I'm going to be adding some twist to this. When I'm making my buns, I like adding lemon zest to it. That is the game changer of my, of my bun. So this is my lemon. Get my grater. Use the smallest size and grate in the back. That is lemon zest.
if lemon zest, it takes it to another level. Try it and you thank me later. The lemon zest will like maybe one um, teaspoon. So this is okay now. I'll combine everything more and then allow this butter to rest. It's well combined now. I'll get in my towel and cover it to rest. Use your cling film or a towel. Allow it to rest for like five minutes. So guys, after 10 minutes, this is what we have. You can see the dough, you can see how smooth it is. So smooth. Before you um, put it in the... So before you put it on the, in the oil, you use your hand to dab in water or you can use vegetable oil to rub your hand. But just see how the consistency of this is now. This is what we are looking for. So the oil is heating up now. When it's hot, do not take it to start frying. So guys, the oil is heating up. But before I add any of the butter, let me just add this little one to know it is if it is hot enough for me to start frying. Okay, it's hot enough for me to start frying. So I just dab my hand in just little water. So you can get a smooth dough. You have to lock it well. When you put your butter in the oil, it goes down, then later it bounces on the oil. Every person has their different method of so guys, they are golden brown. I will bring them out before they get burnt. But when you are frying your buns, you have to reduce the heat when you add your butter so that the outer will be fried well and the inside will be well cooked. If not, if the heat is too much, the inner won't be cooked and the outer will be cooked. So I'll bring them out now. See what we have here looking so good so guys this is our tree buns nigerian buns you can see how it's looking outside so smooth and that is how it is inside you can take this with hot cocoa you can take this with milo you can take it as breakfast you can make it as snacks to put in your children's lunch um, park when they're going to school. You can also make this and entertain your guests when they come to visit you. So guys, this is what we have. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next. Bye-bye.